Hello everyone. In this last video, we people are going to discuss about addition of two number. But this is a specific program because in this program we people perform addition of two number. That numbers are ten and twenty. So this is a specific program. So it is not useful for us because it can accept only two value. It may be ten or twenty. Now, if we want to change the result, then we can change in code. So it is not applicable for us. So we want to design a program which is generalized one. Generalized one. So how we can uh, design it? Then initially, what I have to do, I consider here one uh, my as usual template. Initially, header file declaration. After that, main body declaration. Then here opening of main then closing of main inside the opening and closing main here i write some code that is here i write integer a comma b comma c while here i write simply one message that is printf printf is a formatted output having responsibility to generate your data or show your data on output devices that is monitor so here i write Enter any two number for performing an addition. Okay. I simply pass one message for taking two number from user. Now there is one another statement is also available with us that is scanf. Scanf is a statement having responsibility to take the data from input device such as keyboard and transfer to a D CPU. So scanf is a input. Scanf is related to or it is applicable for input devices. While printf is applicable for output device. Now, what I do do? I simply pass here here again a format specifier that is percent D percent D. First percent D is for value A. Another percent D for value B. Then after that, here I simply uh, type one comma. Comma is a one separator. Then I consider m percent of A comma m percent of B. What do you mean by m percent? M percent tell to us here once your keyboard is going to generate one particular data, that data is temporarily hold by memory location. So, a uh, temporary hold into one particular memory location, then that particular that particular thing are represented by m percent. So here I write as a m percent. Then this is m percent A is accessed by this format specifier, and m percent B is accessed by this second format specifier. Means two value B people are going to accept it. Now each and every lines are terminated by semicolon. We follow here some rules. Then here we perform addition of two number. Then I write the value after an addition is equal to percent D. Means we can call here the value of C. In this way we can write our program for performing addition of two number. But it's a generalized one. Save your file. Then compile and run. Now my program is uh, successfully going to execute. After that, I type 23 and 45. These are my two number because my computer asks about uh, simply put up two value. That is 23. I again, uh, I consider another value that is 45. Instead of that, we can uh, put up any other two value. So simply press enter. I got one result that is 68. That is 23 plus 45 equal to 68. If I want to perform subtraction with the help of this same program, here I write as a minus. If I want to perform multiplication, here I write as a star. If I want to perform division, here I write as a divide sign. So in this way, we people are performing addition of two number. Again, if I simply change here as a data type that is float, so here I again made some changes that is percent f and percent. F. while here is also percentage means this is a program 
which having responsibility to perform addition of two number that number consist of fractional part so i simply save my program and we have people are going to check this program is successfully executed or not then compile and run here i pass some value that is uh, i write 15.67 and my another value is 97.54 okay then perform addition after performing addition i got value 113.209999 okay then in this way we perform addition of two number that number consist of fractional part thank you for watching my video thank you so much